Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on JEST from Software Testing Help. As part of the agenda, we'll cover how you can mock components in React using the JEST framework. We'll see how you can create a React app with multiple components and how you can you mock those components while you write React tests. Let's understand this with the help of this diagram. So mocking concept in general is to replace original or real components or functions with an equivalent fake implementation. So here in this diagram you can see there is a component 1 that depends on component 2 and component 3. But when you are writing test for component 1, you should not be worried about what component 2 and component 3 and how should they render. So that's how you can use just mocks and replace the, both of these component 2 and component 3 with fake variants of both these components. So let's get started and see how you can achieve that in React. In our last tutorial, we created a React app uh, using this uh, command line utility, npx. Uh, create React app is the command and test snapshot is the name of the app. When you run this command, it will create a boilerplate setup for your React app and it will include all the test frameworks and basic setup for the react app so let's see how that looks i'll open this app uh, in the visual studio code that's again a free editor available to for download for different operating systems and in the last tutorial uh, we just edited this app.js file which had some content we removed it and we added our own content and wrote simple test for this here now since we need to add components what we can do is we can create a folder named components in source directory and we can create a component named test just to make it more modularized in the components uh, let's uh, create a couple of uh, component files which we'll use to illustrate how you can mock so i'll create a new file named component one.js So we'll just keep it very simple but just to illustrate the concept how you can use the mocking in general. You have to import the component from react as a class component and I'll simply say render return and our component will just have a div say id equal to component1 probably text with hello component1 so this is our first component let's create another component I'll just create a copy of this component one dot copy so I'll just rename it as component two dot js and I'll just change the text here to component two component two component two so here we have our three components component one and component two and the third component which will use both these components that needs to be created so I'll again simply copy this I'll rename it as component 3 and this component 3 again will extend component and now what I want to do is I want to use component 1 and 2 in component 3 so what I can do here is I can create an outer div here So component 3 will have its own code something like this hello component 3 and it will use component 1 and component 2 so to use a component we can simply say component 1 component 2 and you will have to import these component 
so you will have to say import component one from import component two from okay so now we have three components third component and using component one and component two we are missing an important thing here so for both component one and component two we need to write export default component because without this you won't be able to use any of the component similarly for component two and similarly for component three says so this is our test component or we'll be writing test for this component so till now what we have done is uh, two dummy components and a component named component 3 which uses those two components so now let's start to write test for the component 3 i'll create a new file in test folder and named as component 3.test.js so in this uh, First, let's see without mocking how it looks. So, again, we'll use the same imports. React. Just test, we know have a described block. Mock component test. and then our test mod components and react suppose let's name it this so this uh, text inside quotes is nothing but name of the test whereas the test inside quotes in describe block is name of the test suite so in our test what we have to do is we'll have to first instant create an instance of component 3 that is our test component so we can use container container is nothing but an html element uh, that's that's available in the react testing library we uh, still need to import it and i'll say component 3 so we need we need to import two things here both these container and render from the react testing library so you can do that like this from testing library react and this is all anyway the dependency that comes with the boilerplate code so you can directly use that and i'll say import component 3 from There you go. So now what we have done is we have created an instance of this component 3 and let's try outputting the HTML of this component and see how it looks. So I'll say container dot outer HTML. This will do nothing but print the entire HTML that's created for component 3. Yeah, so now run our test. We can do that using the npm test command and you can also navigate to your test directly and just run the test with respect to the file that you want to run so i can see npm test component test dot js otherwise it will run all the tests that are existing here so we can see it's giving some error it says react is not defined Probably we have not imported react correctly if we see the import statement react so yeah I mean, this syntax is not correct it has to be react r with capital r let's try running this test again and we can see this test is passed and you can also see the console log that we have printed 
so this is nothing but a combined component that is component 3 component 1 and component 2 so here we are seeing that component 1 and component 2 are the real components that are referenced in component 3 now since we are writing test for component 3 we would not like to have real versions of these because they might have different functions or behavior which might impact the component 3's behavior as well so we want to control that behavior in order to do that we can use just functionality to mock the component itself and to do that you can use the function just.mock and how that can be used is you have to write just.mock before the describe block the syntax here is the name of the mock component component one is that we want to mock and the mocked data you want to return so suppose to differentiate I'll say mock component one and uh, let's say the text also will be hello mock component So now let's try running the test again and see if our component 1 is replaced by a mock version or not. Yes, so if you can see here, this is the console.log and what it has done is, uh, it has replaced the earlier component number 1 ID with the mock component. So you can see that this just just dot mock what it's doing is it's replacing the entire component one with the mock value that we have returned here. Similarly, let's return the value for mock component two. I'll just copy it and change component one to component two. And let's try running this again. And you can see here now both the components are mocked with component one being mock component one and component 2 being mock component 2. So that's how you can mock the entire components in React. Let's add a couple of expects here to see how you can also assert the values or IDs of div. So this container was nothing but an HTML element. What we can do is we can query for our HTML elements from this container. So suppose we can say mock component 1 and we want to query this we can simply use the syntax like container dot query selector and this query selector is nothing but it expects a selector uh, with the css format so in css format hash is id and dot is class for example so if i say mock component one what it will do is it will and if i say div it will find out a div which is having id as mock component one and which is nothing but this mock component so this will also ensure that our mocking work that this component was replaced by this id similarly let's write a test for component 2 and let's assert both of these using expect mock component 1 dot now you can use this assert as to be in the document assertion because this assertion will do nothing but validate whether this component is existing or rendered in the final HTML document. Similarly, I can do for component 2. Let's try running this test again. There's a spell mistake here. No, it's giving some other error. Okay. Sorry about that. So we can now see that both of our assertions have passed and the test is also passed. And this ensures that our 
original or real components have been replaced by these fake implementations that we have defined here. So that's how you can mock the components. In our upcoming tutorials, we will see how you can mock function calls as well as API calls using React. Thank you.